hello guys on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to display users on map so it's a bit simple we'll be refactoring what we had before there was a video i posted about displaying users from an api and we'll be using that api to get user geo points then display it on our map so if you have not watched the video at the top right corner of this video you just click on the card there and it will take you down to the video and you can watch it so you can understand everything you want to do in this video so in this video what we'll be doing is displaying users on map so like we have about 10 users here and all these users they have a a geo point which is their latitude and longitude and from there we can display the users on a map using markers so if i should click on this floating action button it shows all the users on a map so yes one user and let me check let me zoom out okay here are all the users yeah all the users the 10 users so if you should click on any of them to take you straight to a particular user on the map so that's all we're doing today and let me show you guys the api we'll be using which you will see and here is the api which is the json placeholder dot type code dot com slash users so here is all the users api so if you should look closely you see where we have geo and in the geo we have the latitude and longitude which is this so we am um, decoding this to have a latitude endpoints and longitude so we can display them on our map so let's just get to the code let's get to the code first you're going to add this the user permission you go to the android manifest.xml and you're going to add this line of code to the file and you can add this also because on the coming episode of this we're going to talk more on routes routing and everything so we'll be um, getting this and i'll show you how to get your map api google map api key and also you go over to your popspec.yml and add this location plugins this map plugins so that will be using the geolocator geocoding and google maps flutter that's everything we'll be using so okay so here is what we have done already and which is for displaying users from an api which we use the provider package to do if you have not watched the video you see at the top right corner of this you click on it so what we'll be adding now is what we'll be adding you we'll go to a map model and we'll import all these files when we import them, which is the material, the geo points, the user map API, user API, everything, the, the link to this code on GitHub will be there on the description so you can check it out. So we will have a class map model that extends change notifier so we can use it out on our map view, which is this. and we we'll have a map controller and we have a map api and also we have user position name which when it maybe we want to display username here this in case of that and the user position which is the latitude which takes take two parameters latitude and longitude 
and which is what is displayed on here so we go back and we have a get method here that gets the map controller and also users which is a list and markers which gets displayed on the map and we have a get method here also that gets the marker because this is a private variable and we have move camera to use that like it takes the map controller and it animates the camera to the position the position we give in our um, arguments over here and it zoom it 50% of it okay and we have camera move here is what happens when we get the camera position it moves to the target and we call on notifier listeners that updates everything and we have on camera create that does that and we create a new method here that adds marker to map and it takes the due points marker position string place name and we have a try and cache here and a notifier listener and here we do the, the logic let me zoom this a little bit so here we have a place mark and we await because it's an asynchronous method we await for it and the place mark from calling it if you should get to read this you see what it really is so from the marker position we got the latitude and the longitude and at the, the first list item and from there we display the name and the locality and administrative area and from the points from the points here that's where we will add our markers so and in our icon we use the default marker icon that's it and also we have get user position we pass in user and we print the user geo latitude and from geo points from geo point class which we have created here which takes the latitude and longitude and check for it if it is equal and it's so if we should go to the user model and we see the the geo and you notice it is a string and we cannot display a string it must be a double so you pass it to a double by doing this way geo double dot pass the user which is this will pass here and we'll pass it to a double and in our user position we we'll stop here we'll update this to the lat and, and long and class we'll update this position to this using the point here and the place mark we'll get it from the place mark from coordinate so we can actually get the name and whatever we want to get from that marker and what else we'll be doing is for us to display the total user and which is the, the, we give it the name here add all users to map and we have a user api dot instance dot get all users which we actually actually did here on our last video and which is a singleton class so that's the api i'm talking about that gets all of this and go back to our last file and from there we get all of it and print running then we look through all of it then add the marker to map which is down here we have already defined and we add it to map and we parse the 
user address.geo.lats to be a double then give the place name and the user address the city so then we add the user to the user list which we have defined here so then we call on the constructor here pass in the user then check if the user is null we add all the user to a marker if not we add the user to the um, 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 method over here sorry okay that's it for it so we we'll go to our map view and over here in our map view so we want to display this so we'll import all of this which is the material the user the map model the map google maps flutter and the provider package and we'll call this class in and extend sysless widget and over here we will call the final variable which is user and pass it in and we have the build method which return change notifier provider and create the map model which we pass in the user we have here in the constructor which is this and and we return scaffold also return a builder that take the final and map model provider dot of and we have the type here is a map model and we check if our markers is empty if it is empty we we call the circular progress indicator to be displayed and if it's not we show a stack widget and a padding which is this the padding that has a, an icon button which is this that actually goes back or click of it then we display our map here and the map type is map type is normal and the initial camera position is camera position and the target is 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 model dot position which is, which is get assessed from our map model here and we check that if this is no we have a default default lat and longitude to be displayed so we zoom it by five percent and my location enabled to set it to true on map created we assess the map model and assess this if our map is created we call on this and if our camera is moved we will call on this also to update the user position to the position target and on that the markers here will on the markers over here we get all the markers that we have added to this marker and display it on the map so that's all so i'm going to save this i'm going to save this for this marker and roll over to our home view which displays all the total users and we're going to add a little a few things here we're going to add it on top so when we tap on this it takes us to the map and display our user we're going to navigate to the map view and also pass in the user in here okay and we're going to have a floating action button which is this and we have the icon which is a map and the background color which is red and the unpress method which will navigate to the map view and if and let's go in there so you get the logic of it so the map model 
if this the user is no we should add all the user to the map so since we have not passed any user over here all the users will be displayed so i'm going to hot restart this and we wait So it loads our users. So yes, all our users. I'm going to click on the. We are going to click on this Graham, and it's going to display our location. Yes, our location. We are going to zoom out. Yes, our location. So I'm going to click on another and here's a location. I'm going to click on another. So that's a location and I'm going to try to display all the users on the map. Okay, here's one. I'm going to move the map. So we can see other users. Yes, another user, and yes, another user. Yes, another user. So yes, another user, and I think that's all for this. So actually, I'm going to be talking about polylines. On clicking of this, it should draw a polyline from our current position to the user's current position so that will be on our next video so if you want me to do such a video just thumbs up to this video and comments in the um, comment section telling me to continue on this and if you want you really like the channel you can subscribe to it and think that's all so we catch up later thank you